Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, Animators Forum and RealIllusionForum.com. Okay, somebody wanted to sh uh, me to show how to bring in this doctor's outfit. And I, I am going to show it, even though it's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to do something a little uh, different on it, so it'll be worth seeing. So the first thing we do is we drag in that character, and um, I have some windows off screen here. I'm going to show you. This is what they look like. I'm going to be careful because I don't want to dock this into the scene. I hate that. So I've got the scene docked off on my other monitor. Okay, Genesis 2 Mail is selected. I'm going to bring that out because I don't need that anymore for the moment. But it's always going to be selected every time you put clothing. I'm going to go into the clothing. So we're now Genesis 2 and clothing. Come down. We'll scroll down here till we get to that doctor's coat. And there's two different sets here. So what I'm going to show today, which is useful uh, for a lot of people that may never seen this before, is you can apply more than one clothing item to a character at a time. So we're going to do this. Doctor set with that character selected. Remember, it was highlighted in that scene. That applies that. And the character is still highlighted. So it's still highlighted. See, in the scene, highlighted. So I'm going to go ahead and click the other one and select both those outfits. So now we have both of those outfits put on. Now he doesn't look very good with a lot of outfits on, but that's all right. We're going to leave them like that. So this is a way of exporting more than one outfit at a time. You could actually pile up you know, 10 or 15 if you really wanted to, but then that would make comp complications when you're actually going to import it in and doctor's outfit that's what it's called doctor's outfit uh, we're going to overwrite that because i want to show you some things there's some different settings that i've shown before we used to collect textures and folder we don't do that anymore so these are the new settings to import all this stuff uh we're not going to import any morphs for this there are morphs for some of this stuff and i've shown that in other other videos but we really don't need any of these morphs there's just some slight minor adjustment morphs so we're going to leave those alone so we're just going to take the default settings here just going to accept that and export it all. And it will take a little bit of time to cook as it exports more clothing. The more clothing you have, of course, the more time it takes to export. But even more importantly, the more morphs you have, and in this case we didn't have very many, that can take a lot of time to export. So if you selected morphs, and I cover that in a lot of my other videos, uh, that may take a long time to, uh, to be able to get. And it will respond in just a moment as it finally finishes up exporting both of these outfits <laughs> eventually almost there ringing and it's done okay so now we go in to character creator and we're going to go to transformer okay always have to use the pipeline always want that doctor outfit select that very simple and you'll see we're going to get an error here and this is something that i've shown in the past on my other videos uh, the reason we get an error is because when we imported some of those doctor outfits, uh, they hid, see it says this is a common error. When I've showed this also in some of my other, but I wanted to show all of this to show how to solve this problem. So it says it can't find that character. What's going on? And as I've shown this in the other thing before, what happens is by putting on this doctor's outfit, some of the parts are being hidden. Uh, usually what happens is a lot of times it's the legs and the shoes uh, shoes in particular. I bet if I remove these shoes, everything would work fine, but they were hiding the, the feet. So I've also shown how to solve this. Real simple. All you need to do is put in another figure. And we always want to use the same figure. So we're going to use another Genesis 2 male figure. And we're going to slide this over. We're not going to double click because if I double click here, it'll replace that male in the scene. We don't want to do that. But we want to make sure that he's not selected in the scene. So we don't want to select him. Why is that? Because if we try to then put another character in, it may try to parent him to that character. So now I'm going to just take this character, slide him into the scene. It's going to read that other character asset. And what essentially we're doing is we're overlaying a character right on top of it. So if we look at the scene now, you'll see that there's two. One of them's dressed. If we take off this, you'll see. Uh, one of them is actually you won't see that because the clothes are going to stay there even if we hide the the character. So they're both they're both in the scene now. So now we can go and export doctor outfit again. We're gonna yes, and we're gonna just accept all those. So just to understand again, I've I've made this point a, a lot of times, but will this is a nice kind of a summary of how to do this? Is that any time it says to you that a Genesis figure is not properly supported, then it's always, always, always because it's hidden some of the shapes in that figure. And the easy way to solve it is just drag it another one. And what's going to happen is when we go to Transformer and then try to import it, we're going to get rid of that duplicate figure that we also dragged in. When you, when you go to Transporter, you can select what items you want to come over. 
And what we're going to do is by deselecting that figure, we're going to get rid of the figure that actually didn't work. So come in here. So we go back to this character, go to Transformer again, go to Doctor's Outfit, open it up. And this time, you can always tell when it's going to crash. It'll get to about 5%, and that's when it's actually checking the geometry of the figure. And usually, yeah, between this point and 20% is where it actually fails. If it gets past this, then you know pretty well it, uh, it's okay. And we always, always, always want to select advanced. It used to be in my other videos, I told you to select basic. Never select basic. Ever. Never. <laughs> always use advanced. That's because they changed the way that... Uh, it grabs the textures for the clothing. So it has to use advanced in order to uh, grab the textures correctly. So this is a good video to kind of update all of those things. And it will take a little bit of time. The reason it's taking time is what it's doing is it's grabbing those uh, textures for the um, the various clothes. Actually, it's grab right now it's grabbing the clothing items uh, for the, the various character. It actually hasn't gone to the texture processing stage yet. But it's going to uh, get all those different items and decide where they really have to go, how they're rigged to the character. It's deciding the weighting of those items. It does that all automatically for you. So there's really not a whole lot you have to do. Uh, we, we've seen if we have hair, if we're bringing in hair, sometimes you have to uh, tell it that it's hair. That's one thing you have to do. Sometimes if you have multiple shoes, you have to uh, tell it that... Uh, Either they're, when I say multiple shoes, I mean, you might have shoes and socks. So you might, if you want to combine those together, you can tell them that they're both shoes because they fit on the feet and they will combine them. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do this. <laughs> so now, now it's gotten past that 20% and it's mapping. So these are all the items. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of that second Genesis 2 mail. We don't need that anymore. So we don't, we're not going to import that. Now you'll see there's a lot of items here, and I actually happen to know that some of these are already duplicates. We can bring them in, and I brought them in before as duplicates. I don't actually need to duplicate these Oxford shoes. See, we have Oxford shoes here, and we have Oxford shoes here. I don't need those, so I'm going to take out those op Oxford shoes. There's some other duplicate things here, and I think their uh, pants are duplicated, but because I can't tell offhand by looking at it, and I don't know what's what, I'm going to just leave it. I could have brought in the duplicate shoes too, but... And that's about all. Just say, okay. Uh, th the one thing you really just don't want to do is bring in another character because oh, you could, and it wouldn't hurt, and you could, du uh, you could duplicate it. You could delete it once you brought it in. Uh, it's not going to hurt anything, but it just might confuse you. And, and if we brought that character in, maybe I should have just to show you, but if we brought that character in, he very likely would be missing his feet. Those feet would be cut off because, again, that's what Daz is doing in order to put those shoes on properly. Uh, shoes always are a problem. You're nearly always going to have to hide the mesh for shoes. Uh, sometimes if you have open-toed shoes, you're going to have to fool around with positioning them properly. But the easiest thing to do is just hide the mesh. Uh, Daz has that problem, and Character Creator has that problem. So shoes are just one of those things. Okay, here we are. And speaking of shoes, as you can see, <laughs> the feet don't fit the shoes. And uh, I've talked about this in the past before. We can do ahead and conform those shoes and they'll fit better. Uh, you can do a conform and do calculate collision and they'll go ahead and they'll fit a little better. They're never gonna fit perfectly. So you still have some things there. So the best thing to do always, always, always is just to go in and edit the mesh for the character itself. And for the faces with ignore back faces turned off, you just go ahead and hide those. So that's, that's just the easy thing to do. But uh, real simple. So now what we have is we actually have a number, two different outfits put on this character. And I told you we had duplicate uh, clothing items. So we can go ahead. The first thing I like to do is just uh, hide everything. If you select the master character, it hides. Uh, whoops, excuse me. Select this and select that and then hide it. And there we go. Okay, we'll bring the master character back though. Uh, I like to see him, the naked guy. Okay. Oh, and there you go. See, it it hid the. Oh, that's right. That's why I did. I hid the. I hid the mesh. I'm sorry. I got excited about. It. I thought I hid the mesh. All right. So here's the first thing. So that's a belt. So I like to go ahead and rename these things. Just uh, and and you can call them whatever you want. But because it's particularly part of that doctor outfit, I like to do that. Um, that's the coat. And notice that that's the coat closed. There's an open and there's a closed coat. So I'm gonna say uh, coat closed. So we don't need that anymore for now. I want to be able to see what I'm doing. Uh, there's the shoes. We know those. So there's Dr. Oxford's. Oh, let's see what else we got. Pants. Okay, so 
Dr. Pants. There's really not a lot to this, but we'll turn those off again. We don't need to see that stuff. Uh, tie. For those of you that are bored, don't need to watch the rest of this. I'm just going to go through and... Uh, uh, I, 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 oh, there's another belt. I think that's another belt. Let's, oh, that's the doctor. Yeah, that could be another belt. I think that is another belt. No. What is that? <laughs> oh, yeah, it is another belt. Okay, so we don't need that one. So we can get rid of that one. I'm pressing the delete key. So the delete key, so the belt goes. So we still have that belt. We had another belt because it loaded in the two outfits. Uh, so... And that's a open. Now, this is a little different shirt. This shirt they give you, see, notice that it's open collar at the top. So we're going to put that in. We're going to put in uh, Dr. Shirt Open Collar. That's when he's relaxed and stuff. And uh, and there's the shirt with a closed collar. So that's the, and that actually works better with the tie. If you try to put the uh, tie in there, then uh, you'll you, it, it won't work good with this. It works good with, uh, I mean, it works good with a closed shirt. It doesn't uh, close collar. It doesn't look good with an open collar. It looks weird. So, uh, so there's that. And I think the last one are duplicate pants here. Yes. Yeah, so we don't need those because those are already there. So I'm pressing the delete key. They're just going there. And then the last thing is this coat that's open. So there we go. Doctor coat open. Uh, so there. So now that what, what you would normally then do is, uh, well, you can do this a lot of different ways. You could you could then go ahead and save this whole outfit. That's what I normally do is if, I, if I'm if i going to have like a, a multi-purpose outfit like this, a doctor outfit with the shirt open and closed and the coat open and closed, then I would go into the content and just save this as a project, which I've already done. Uh, you can also save it as a clothed avatar. You can do it either of those two ways that you want to do. It's really it's really up to you as how you do it, but um, either way will work, and I think I've already done that, uh, so I'm not going to save this. So what I'm going to do now is, because I've already saved this out as outfit, I want to show you uh, then how you, how you load it again. So then if you go into uh, you know your template, your avatar, and you have another, another avatar of something here. Let's go to the base. I like this guy, Kevin. I'm gonna, I've already saved the outfit, so I don't have to save it again. Told you I saved it as a project or or the clothed avatar either way. The difference is if you save a project, it saves the hair. For some reason, a clothed avatar doesn't save the hair. So that becomes a little bit more problematic. So we go to project and go down to somewhere where I have this guy. I have it somewhere. Cyber, cyber, doctor. Doctor outfit. Now, I don't want to load the project because that would replace the character. I want to replace the costume. So what that does is it just takes the clothing on that guy, leaves that guy alone, and puts it on this guy. So uh, that's just how easy it does once you've got the clothing. And then, of course, once i got the clothing, I'll have to decide, you know, what outfit I actually want on this guy. I, I would probably want to say, uh, let's say I, want, I don't want the clo clothes, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to get the un unbutton. I get rid of that one, too. So there he is. I have the nice doctor like that. Now, again, shoes. And you notice because his feet are unhidden now, I, have, I would have to go into the mesh and, uh, and edit the mesh. You actually can save with the, with the clothing um, the, the instructions to hide the mesh. I almost never do that because you never know what you're, what you're loading in. But, and it's easy to hide the mesh. But you can do that, too. Uh, so that's it. That's how to load in multiple outfits and to um, and to deal with them and, and use them in uh, iClone or as a character creator. Then from here, obviously, you can go to iClone. So hopefully this helps. And we covered a couple things that we haven't covered before. So I think that was worth doing. And we'll see you on the forums.